Yo, what is good, everybody? It's us, Four Kicks here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing a real versus fake on the Jordan 3 White Cement Reimagined. Let's go ahead and check them out. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna check out is the boxes. Left being the retail, right being the replica. This pair is from Eva Sneaker. Information right here on the screen if you wanted to check them out. First thing I like to point out is the difference in size of the box. No matter how detailed and good they get for all the designs and stuff, for some reason lately, even with my other pair of these and all the pairs of the lost and founds that I've seen so far, the box on the rep is slightly smaller in length width height than the retail. You can't really see right here the difference, but it is maybe a half inch or so taller retail to rep. Same goes for here. It's about an inch or so different. And if you put these two on top, you'll also see that it is a little bit wider in width as well. As far as design goes for the black top and the red jump man, it looks pretty much the same identical scratches and everything. Nothing really to point out there. Next, I want to check out the tissue paper on the inside of the boxes. Left, once again, being retail, right being the rep. You can see the colors are pretty much completely different. It is more of a white over here on the rep one with the gray being a shade off or so. And then this one for the retail is pretty much all gray with just a darker gray for the elephant print. You can also see the elephant print, obviously on the retail is elephant print. And then on the rep one, it's a weird print. I don't even know if I would call it elephant print. Getting into the actual shoes, left being the replica pair, right being the retail. Just like the boxes, I wanna point out that the shoes themselves, for some reason, the reps are about half an inch or so taller than the retail pair. This happens with Jordan one reps, Jordan three reps all the time. Don't know why, but it is something that does tend to happen. You'll see the cream matches up pretty well. I want to say maybe slight shade darker on the replica than the retail, but even side by side, it is kind of hard for me to see. Dots and everything, collars and all that look to be the same. You got more tumbling right here on the retail, but obviously it's something that varies. Getting down to the elephant print, you'll see that the print on the rep is thicker than the retail. This retail release was known to be all over the board. So there are some pairs that are as thick as this and then some pairs that are thin like this, medium or even thinner than this and pretty much non-existent. I'll put some pictures on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. The matte black looks nice on both, looks to be the same. Same goes for the air bubble and then the cream here. Once again, I wanna say the cream on the rep is maybe a slight shade darker than the retail one. Next, I wanna check out the toe boxes. You can see the elephant print is a little higher on the rep than the retail. Once again, this is something that varied all across the retail QC. It was pretty bad, but you can see it is also thicker once again on the rep than the retail. This is something that varies again, just because retail QC was so bad. You can even see that the thicker print here on my retail is thicker on the toe box than it is back towards the heel like I showed you before. So it is something that kind of varies all across the board. Same goes with my rep. It is thicker right here on the toe box than it is on the back towards the heel. As far as all these little pieces and cuts go, everything looks to be the same there. Color and everything and spacing, I can't really point anything out. Flipping them over to the outsole, top going to be the retail, bottom is going to be the rep. Everything looks to be the same. You look to see the same gray, the same hits of red towards the toe box and for Nike, and then also the same hit of cream. I want to get them closer. A lot of times reps, you can see there's less detail on the outsole, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. Moving on towards the toe box. This is something I haven't seen them get so far. The retail has a longer toe box leading up to the lace guards than the rep one. You can see there's a clear difference there. Obviously, unless side by side, it is kind of hard to really know about that, but you can see side by side that there is a clear difference. You have the white laces once you move up. Those are what came by default. Nothing that I can really say or point out there. You move on to the tongues here. 
I want to say that the rep pair is a little thicker, more cushioned than the retail pair. This retail pair is known to be a little thinner than some of the former releases, so probably not as comfy in my opinion. You can look at the Jumpman there. You never know with retail or rep what kind of Jumpman if you're going to get one that's too fat or not. These look to be pretty identical. Hands don't look too messed up or anything. And if I can get my hand out of the way, the basketball and everything looks to be pretty solid as well. Coming over to the inside of the shoes, left is going to be the size 12, which is rep. Right is going to be the size 12 and a half, which is retail. You'll see that you have the sock liner here. I want to say that obviously, once again, this is a little thicker on the rep than the retail. The retail towards the heel part almost feels like there's no padding whatsoever that you're almost like immediately hitting right here on the heel tab where there is a little bit of cushion, not a lot of cushion like some three reps or even retail have, but more than the retail one on this one for sure. You'll see right here the padding. Once again, it just seems a little bit more on the rep one on the left than the retail one, but nothing too crazy whatsoever. You'll see the insoles are both that nice bright red color with the Nike swoosh and air in black printed on them. Nothing too crazy that I can really call out there. Coming over to the back side, left being the replica, right being retail. Once again, you'll notice that the rep is slightly taller in height than the retail pair. You can see there's a little more holes here sticking up past the heel tab. Not a huge deal, but something that I wanted to point out to you. The creams on the heel tabs under this lighting, in my opinion, looks to be the same. Maybe you'll see something different if you look with your special eyes. Look with your special eyes. Nike Dissolution Air in that matte black looks to be the same once again. Placing is kind of all over the board as far as this goes just because the cut is a little different on some of the retails as well but it is a little more space on this retail pair than this rep pair again not a big deal just because it does vary but something i wanted to point out and again we can see the print difference right here rep being thicker on this specific pair than this specific pair of retail flipping over to the medial side left being the retail right being the rep First thing you notice is once again, the heels back to back, the cream might be a shade or so off, kind of hard to see in the same lighting. Then you can see the elephant print right here, right being the rep once again, has thicker print than the one on the left retail. Once again, this is all over the board for retail QC. So you will have some that do have this exact print. You have the matte black, looks to be the same. Nothing I can really point out there. Same goes for the air bubble. Air bubble might be a little cleaner on retail than rep. It happens, retail rep, not really a big deal as far as air bubbles go in my opinion. Cream for the midsole, maybe a shade off once again from retail to rep. Gray looks pretty good right there. I will say here on the cut, it does vary just a bit when it comes to retail, but on this specific pair, it has a thinner cut right here from this line to this line than my rep pair does this line to this line. Now they are using a different mold on these threes than the mold that this three has. So shape is a little bit different. Finishing it off with the medial side, the toe boxes, you'll see the cut once again, just like the lateral side is a little taller on the rep than the retail. Now QC was all over the board once again. So there are some cuts that are taller and some shorter and some even mixed match shoes. Same goes for the cut right here. It is a little wider here on the rep pair than the retail, but there are pictures of retails also having the same exact cut. You also see that the toe box is a little bit taller and boxier right there on the rep than the retail. This is because the retail for this drop is a newer mold and shape. So it's more rounded here on the retail than the rep. Once you get your foot in, it's not really a big difference. So if the shoes have been worn, it would be harder to tell. All right, so this is the second video I've done for the White Cement Reimagined 3's Real versus Fake. In my opinion, this is a staple in any Jordan collector or sneaker head collector, whatever you want to call yourselves, wardrobe. Because it is an iconic silhouette, an iconic colorway, and it's just a pair that everybody needs to have. I love the cream hits. You can see that I wear a lot of cream, so it fits right in. A lot of people hate elephant print, but in my opinion, you know, like a lot of people aren't liking those Jordan 1 cements that came out saying that there's too much elephant print. In my opinion, the threes have that perfect mix of the regular colorway, but then they have the elephant print here at the front and towards the back, towards the heel. I think it's just that perfect mix and I don't see how you can hate it. 
What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Are these the Jordan 3 of the year 2023, or do you have your mind on another one? Just like always, I really appreciate you guys coming over the channel and hanging out for a bit. Till next time, I'm Just4Kicks. Peace.